Today we're going to make this cute and easy turkey hat craft. The supplies you're going to need are scissors, a pencil. You're going to need a circular tracer. This will help you. You don't have to have one, but it's very helpful. Some glue and some paper. Here I have brown. This is going to be for the band of my hat. Then I have some different fall colors. Here I have a yellow, an orange, and a red. I have another orange for my nose, some white for my eyes, and some black for my pupils. So grab what you need and let's get started. The first thing I want to do is cut out the band that's going to go around my head. You know what else you're going to need, my friends? You're going to need a ruler. So if you have a ruler, grab a ruler. If you don't, that's okay. Just draw the straightest line that you can. So I'm going to take my piece of paper here just so that you can see it better. And here I have the long side. And on that long side, I'm going to take my ruler. I'm going to line up my ruler once, put my finger here, and then just move it over and line it up again. So it's two ruler widths. And then I'm going to draw a line. So I have two ruler widths and then it is a straight line. If you want to know an actual measurement that I'm using here, I'm using centimeters. It's about six and a half centimeters or here. Let's just move that up seven centimeters. So there you go. It's going to be about seven centimeters. Then you're just going to do it again. So I take a ruler, make a little tick here, or put my finger there, line it up again and I draw a line. So you can see this width and this width are the same and then you're going to cut those out. So once you have those, cut them out. If it's not exactly the same width as that and they're a little bit skinnier or it's a little bit wider, it is fine. That will work perfectly. This is just going to be the band for your hat, for your headband. Then you're going to take those two strips that are the same. You're going to match them up and glue them together. So grab your glue, put a little bit of glue on one side and glue those together and then just leave those to dry. As they are drying, you are now going to grab the three colors you're going to use for the feathers that are going to go on the top of your hat. Now I'm using three. These are my yellow, my red, and my orange colors. I'm going to stack them all on top of each other. You don't have to do that. You can do one at a time. You can also use more colors. You could also use more feathers. It's completely up to you, but grab what you need. And then I will show you how to draw them. Taking my pencil, the bottom of my page, I'm going to draw a line, skip over, draw another line, go back to that first line. I'm going to curve around and then come all the way to the top of my page and then try to do the same thing on the way down. So coming down, 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 and then curving back. Now I'm going to hold my pieces of paper together and I'm going to cut. So when I'm done, I will have all three of my feathers. If this is a little bit tricky, that's okay. Trace one, cut it out, trace another one, cut it out. Trace your third one and cut that one out. If you're doing more, then just keep going and cut out all of the feathers that you would like to use for your hat. And we are going to take our orange piece of paper and on that orange piece of paper, we are drawing our beak. So I'm just going to draw a triangle. So I'm going to draw a diagonal line down, go back up to the top, draw another diagonal line down. And that is my beak. And you can see it's pretty big. I'm drawing a pretty big beak. I'm going to cut that out and put that to the side. Time for my eyes. So I'm going to take my white piece of paper and fold it in half. I'm going to take my circle tracer. So you can see my eyes are quite large. If you don't have a circle tracer, that's okay. Just draw a big circle. Once I have that big circle, I'm going to cut it out. Now remember I folded my piece of paper, so I'm going to end up with two eyes that are the same shape, same size. They are called congruent. If it didn't work, that's okay. You can just cut out one at a time and then just make sure the second one looks the same. Once I have those two, so here you can see I've got two. 
I'm going to do the same thing with my black piece of paper, but I want a smaller circle because I'm going to use two little pupils in the middle and I find my lid for my glue works perfectly. So I'm just going to use that as my tracer. But if you don't have that, that's okay. Just draw a circle, cut it out. And remember, I have two here because I folded my piece of paper. So you're just going to have to make sure that whatever you decide and however you decide to make them, you just end up with two. And there we go. Now I am going to take my glue and I'm going to glue one pupil inside each eye. There. I am going to move my band down so that I can start to assemble everything. I'm just going to move to one side of my band and I'm going to glue my beak down. You can see my beak is coming off of my brown strip a little bit and that's okay. I want it to do that. I'm going to put some glue on the back of my eyes. Now when I'm gluing my eyes down I like them to go fairly close together so there's not a space and they overlap so you can't really see the top of the beak. So just keep fiddling until they look the way you want them to. Then it's time for our feathers. Now remember I have three. Before I glue them I just like to place them to make sure I like them making sure that everything looks okay. Then I flip that over and I will glue them down. So they are going to come up on the opposite side of your beak. So they are gonna be glued down on that side. Once they are glued, I'm gonna turn it over. And we are ready to attach your hat. Now this is where you might need someone to help you figure out the size of your head because you might want to make it a little bit smaller or bigger depending on what fits you. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on one side so that you can close it off. Bring your other side over. Glue that down. And there you go. You have your turkey hat. Thanks for joining me on Craft Club for Kids to make this cute and easy turkey hat. Remember, be creative and have fun.